going to do a follow-up video to the video I did about the free um, tubing bender and how to bend these hoops for your raised bed or for your garden for free out of conduit. Uh, and then just talk about uh, some unexpected benefits and some changes I've made uh, over using them for the past couple years in my garden. They're holding up well. They're all looking as good as they were. They should last for a long, long time. Um, so I have all the original ones that I bent in my um, original video and they're doing great. Uh, one of the interesting unexpected things about having these hoops, I leave these hoops up all year long, even through the winter and uh, even when um, I don't have the covers on them for the garden. And one of the interesting things about the hoops, having them up all year in the garden, is that um, the birds really appreciate them. And we have a lot of robins around here and you'll be eating breakfast and you'll see that there'll be bunches of birds sitting on top of the hoops and they just perch up there on top of the hoops and then when they see you eating bugs or anything they just pop off the hoops and uh, go eat some bugs. So I don't have any chickens so that really is helpful to have all those birds perching up on these hoops and then picking bugs out of the garden. The other interesting advantage that I hadn't thought of that these hoops provide if you leave them up all summer long is if you're pulling the um, hose through the garden and you're dragging it around and you get it caught on the edge of a bed or something like that. You don't want to pull the hose across your bed and break any of your plants. Um, the hoops actually protect the corners of the beds. So if a hose pops up over the edge as you're dragging a hose around, it keeps the hose from running um, through the bed, which is kind of a nice uh, feature that you don't drag any hoses through your beds as you're pulling hoses around the garden. Um, the other thing I changed was the um, row cover. So in my first video, I showed that I put row cover um, down the entire row so I just put one piece all the way down covering all the rows and that works pretty well but it would just blow off and it wouldn't stay on very well um, during the wind and I'd have different crops that I needed covered and ones that I didn't need covered so what I changed is I now just cover them uh, one bed at a time which actually saves on the amount of cover I use um, so I just cut out a piece that's going to cover one bed and then I just tuck it at the end and put a rock on it and it stays on a whole lot better than trying to cover an entire row. So now I just cover them bed by bed. Um, just put a rectangular piece over. The other nice part is if it wears out or one of these gets ripped, I just replace one section. Um, instead of if I have it in one long row and there gets a rip in it or something, it kind of um, is a lot harder to deal with and replace. So now I just uh, cut them for one bed at a time and I just cover them one bed at a time and put these rocks on them. Um, it does sag in a little bit at the sides, so what I did do is I put um, these little stakes here at the edge of the bed, and they have a little plastic coating. They actually came off an Ikea pants rack um, that I wasn't using, so I cut off all the pant holder spikes, and uh, then I just stick them in the ground, and it keeps the um, row cover from sagging in, so you can kind of see it on this one that it's keeps it from sagging in and um, just holds the fabric out away from the beds and you do get a hole. The wind will kind of wear a hole in it as you can see um, from right there. So maybe you have to invent a better way to um, not get it to wear out and put a hole in it over all the wind blowing it around. But um, it definitely keeps the bugs out and the grasshoppers and everything like that if you cover them. So. Um, just wanted to make this video and say that these hoops are going well and I'm going to keep using them and they're giving me um, tons of advantages.